Hello, I am Dr. Aguila Savi from Chennai, India. I am going to show you a simple case of bilateral antimodal disease and uh, maxillary disease along with nasal allergy and bilateral big Congo bullosa. You can see the coronal CT scan images. Please watch these videos in on big screen. If you are, are watching on mobile, please pair it with a big TV screen and watch. Then you can appreciate these videos very well. I am taking this case under local anesthesia. She is a 39 year old female patient with a good moderate IV sedation. First step is packing the nasal cavity with a 4% lignocaine and adrenaline solution in the ratio of 1 is to 1. On both the sides packing, there is a high septal deviation on both sides, mainly on the right side. I am not going to correct. After good decongestion, you get a good space. So I am giving the anti nerve block on the left side because I am going to do the congal correction on both sides. This on the right side anti nerve block. Then I will be doing congal crushing with Dr. Ahila's congal crusher. Before that I am giving the spino block on the sorry spino block on the left side. It is at the posterior end of the middle terminate joining the lateral wall. With that, 23 gauge spinal needle with the tip bend for around 1 cm. Always aspirate and give. With a solution of 0.5% ligno, 0.5% ropivacan with the adrenaline. Now I am giving the spinal pattern block on the left right side. Now I am going for the congal crushing on the left side with the Dr. Aguilar's congal crusher, which is available with Sando Surgical of Mumbai. They have two three sizes. Please uh, buy the smaller size, which is very useful, which is 8 mm. They have 8 mm, 10 mm, and 12 mm. See now how beautiful the conga has been reduced on the left side. Now I am going for the conga bullosa crushing on the right side. It's a quite bigger conga bullosa, gently insinuating the conga crusher to crush it. To make it into a very thin middle terminate so that you can appreciate the middle meatus on both the sides after crushing. See, you can use, even see the bull also. Very thin middle terminate. We, we are not losing mucosa or any bleeding or raw areas. Now, I am using my own design, Dr. Ahila's unsinate dissector to take out the unsinate on the left side. It is a very good instrument to do an and uh, dissect the unsinate the whole length without injuring the bulla or the lamina papricia. You can see the bulla clearly without being injured. Now I am using the scissors to cut the lower attachment and the superior attachment uh, and taking out the whole unsinate in total, a yes, C-shaped unsinate coming out in total. Now, uh, already the MMA is open wide and um, I am using the true biter to still more widen the posterior lip of the MMA. That is middle meatal androstomy. You can see the maxillary sinus coming into view that has secretions. I am using the curved sucker to suck out the secretions. This patient had been suffering from chronic allergy for a long period and secretions, post sessile trip, etc. So, the, and you can have the bulla into the view. I will take out the bulla also because it is anti ethmodal disease on both sides with maxillary. And I will be taking out only the bulla. I will not go into the post treatment, which is fairly all right. You can use a shaver for the whole step. Alternately, I will use few punches with the black sleeve forceps and take out most of the bony things. Otherwise, the bone gets stuck in the shaver system and it slows the your surgery. Now, I am using the shaver to take out the rest of the remnants in the anti ethmoids. Now, I am using the shaver. 
Remember, I am doing under local anesthesia. Hardly any bleeding. You don't require to suck the blood frequently as in general anesthesia. And there is no need to pack the nasal cavity post-operatively. And you can discharge the patient on the same day as daycare procedure. So, left side and the me has been finished. Again, using my own design, Dr. Aguilar's antenate dissector to take out the antenate on the right side. You can see the conga bullosa has been crushed and reduced to a normal sized middle terminate. The antenate is being dissected from its attachment to the lateral wall. And in one stroke, you can go down into the middle meatus that is hiatus semilurans inferiors and open the see the um, maxillary sinus has been opened. That's the maxillary sinus coming into view. Then use the scissors to transect the superior attachment and inferior attachment of the ancinate and take it out. Remember, it's a minimally edited video. Patients are very cooperative under local anesthesia and with a moderate sedation. I am using the blood slit to take out the ansonate. So the bulla is intact, not injured and the lamina is also not injured. Patients are comfortable and you can see, have a good look at the maxillary sinus. Little using the backbiter, Nagashima's backbiter to widen the Middle metal antostomy. Using the curd sucker to take out the secretions from the maxillary sinus. Now with the black sleeve forceps, I am taking the bull out. Starting opening from the medial and inferior part. And taking out the whole maximum part of the bulla. Rest of the remnants of the bulla will be shaved off with the shaver system. Alternatively, you can use the shaver for the entire step, but the bone chips may get stuck in the shaver blade. That's why I prefer this step. That's a little bit of remnant and superiorly. This patient has no disease in frontal and spinard. So we will not be unnecessarily opening those areas. A good anti ethmodectomy has been performed and the middle metal endostomy has been performed on both the sides. Now I am going for the <clears throat> posterior nasal neurectomy on the left side using an elevator. I use an PNN elevator, neurectomy elevator, as are sometimes ordinary cautels elevator. Depends on the space. Elevate the mucosa from the posterior edge of the MMA. If you have done an MMA, it's an quite an easier step. Otherwise, you have to make an incision at the junction of middle terminate and inferior terminate a few millimeters and get to the attachments. So, I am elevating and you can see the thin nerve coming into view beautifully, beautifully, posterior superior nasal nerve. You can see I am stretching. It is coming some 5-6 mm below the cresta ethmodalis where is the superiorly that is the spinopatrin artery. So you can just cut the nerve or just coagulate the nerve. Patient will be relieved of the allergic symptoms like rhinorrhea and sneezing postoperatively. Now I am using a curd sucker cautery to coagulate the nerve. You can appreciate the field quality, hardly any bleeding under local anesthesia. These nerves are very slender, which can be easily appreciated under local anesthesia. 
in general anesthesia it is very sometimes difficult when the field is bloody and replacing the flap now coming to the postnasal neurectomy on the right side again from the posterior edge of the mma start elevating the mucosa on the right side there will be multiple branches thin branches and multiple branches right the left side it was a single branch which was dividing into branches single thing but here you can see multiple branches they will be cut off with the um, portal elevator itself and moreover i will coagulate them also you can see very slender small branches so there is lot of variations in post superior nasal nerve you have to identify them clearly and uh, cut it coagulate or coagulate whatever you do don't blindly cauterize that area or coagulate that area as some people are doing to have a very good result some still more slender nerve fibers see please watch these videos on a bigger screen to appreciate the feel quality and everything so hardly any bleeding i will not be packing the nasal cavity and the patient is comfortable thank you for watching see you in another video you can contact me at this id anytime thank you or whatsapp me